Tonight, an expedition to the bottom of the Strait of Georgia to see a sea creature believed to have been extinct for 40 million years. BC is the only place in the world where you'll find glass sponge reefs. This event should bring public awareness to the reefs um, so that they are able to have an opinion about whether or not they should be protected. Talk to me about why this is such a big day for you. Being able to see these glass sponges that we've been working since 2001 to get protected on the BC coast and to actually see them with my own eyes under the water is like so exciting. Our goal is to call attention to the reefs that are right here on Vancouver's doorstep and to make sure that there are closures that will protect them from fishing activities like bottom trawling and prawn traps. And that's not going to happen if people don't know about them. Um, there's no way that they're going to be protected if there's not that pressure from the public. And so um, I see this as being a way for us to say, hey, look what you need to protect. They're right here. They're right on your doorstep. Like, we need to do something about it. Uh, as a paleontologist, I was dealing with, sponge, with fossilized sponge reefs all over Europe. I did that for 15, 20 years. Um, all the conventional scientific wisdom was that uh, all we had uh, left on Earth was fossilized sponge reefs until they were discovered in British Columbia waters in 1987. I tumbled over a small publication of four Canadian authors and they described uh, these living sponge reefs here in, at the coast of BC. Uh, they found these unusual mounds and they turned out to be the same kind of glass sponge reefs that they thought were extinct. And I really couldn't believe it, but they had photographs in it in the paper and okay, it was obviously right, you know. Uh, everybody thought they were gone, you know, and yeah, it was like uh, the di discovering of a living herd of dinosaurs. So we're just preparing to bring the submarine back up, so we're just going to wrap up just for a second. We also nominated uh, the reefs for World Heritage status to UNESCO. Um, UNESCO has a number of criteria that every World Heritage site has to meet. It was evaluated by the Canadian team putting the list together and there was only one criteria that the sponge reefs didn't meet. And that was they didn't have long-term protection. And then we went actually up to Hackett Strait where the biggest reefs are and we, there we did our first dives and uh, it turned out to be a fantastic world down there on the shelf of BC. We also saw large areas are you know, physically damaged already. But the reefs are threatened by the damaging effects of the fishing industry. Bottom trawling shatters the sponges and stirs up enough sediment to smother and choke them. But the Strait of Georgia reefs have no protection. If people want to get involved and help sea paws protect these glass sponge reefs, um, they could write to the Minister of Fisheries and Oceans and ask her to do two main things. One is to complete the marine protected area for the, the reefs in northern BC and Hecate Strait. And secondly, we would really like to see uh, the fishing closures on the uh, sponge reefs in the Strait of Georgia implemented right away. For Sabine Jessen and the scientists studying BC's unique reefs, there is no time to waste. They thought they were extinct once. They don't want it to happen for real this time.